one half of War Paint, and we're at the Reading Festival in the UK. Well, we haven't written it yet, but it is coming, and and we uh, pretty much finish um, our touring for this album in a few days, and today's our last British show. And um, yeah, we're pretty determined to get home and start writing and and producing the the new record, new release. Sure. Yeah. Bits, yeah, bits and bobs. Nothing is, I guess, super concrete mm. as of now, but lots of ideas floating around yeah we don't really have any concept of what it's going to sound like i don't think unless we all decide that it should be one it should sound um particularly you know minimal or or even electronic or something i think i think right now it's more important for us to just experiment Mm -hmm. and and write with one another because we've never written um from the ground up with this lineup so it's gonna be different um, we're actually almost finished. This is, we have this e- today, and then we go to Electric Picnic, and then a show in Seattle, and we go, and we go home. So we're, you know, as of now, no. I mean, if oftentimes we'll just jam and free flow up on stage. So maybe a new song will happen. Mm-hmm. Free flow that way. It's going to be flowing. called Free Flowing. <laughs> free flowing. Featuring Tom Petty. <laughs> Tom Petty's daughter. <laughs> Kim. Kim. That was that oh. was when it really hit home, I think. We were in London when the riots broke out. We were actually in Hackney, we were staying in Hackney. And we had a few days off and um and yeah, it just all felt it didn't feel very concrete or very real looking at it on you know, watching it on the news and even being out on the streets just felt a little bit um felt like a ghost town for those two days. Um, but it didn't. We didn't see any violent acts or anything particularly scary. Um, but the moment that we heard about that, it was like, oh, okay. There's, there's been damage done beyond probably what they intended to do. You know, like it's it's made a huge impact on, on people's lives and an industry like the independent music industry, which doesn't really need a blow. You know, maybe just the high point is just just traveling. How much traveling we've we've been able to do and and the response that we've had from from crowds all over the world has been quite unexpected sometimes so i think it's definitely a positive and you can you can talk about the negative (laughs) (laughs) good cop bad cop (laughs) it's the worst thing that's happened to you (laughs) i love everyone and we're so supportive and loving (laughs) so amazing (laughs) i think that um as she was just saying, that uh, the high, I think there's high points and low points to basically everything that we've been doing every day, you know? Um, anything from being in a really good mood and then getting really tired and being crappy, you know what I mean? So I, I don't feel like there, it's um, there was there's a strong extremity between the two. I feel like it's been pretty balanced and we've been enjoying ourselves and yeah.